All right, boys and girls, we're doing the exhaust. You got all the pieces. The bottom piece here, that's the mid pipe, that's the 2.5 stock. And this is the, what is this? Uh, 07 STI stock. Oh yeah, 07 STI stock. As you can see, it's a little bit two and a half inches short. So what we need to do, we're gonna cut it right here. And we're simply gonna add two and a half inches. Well, this is gonna be a little bit uh, bigger. We're gonna cut probably three inches or so and weld that piece into here. Actually, we're gonna cut it right here. So, because this should, this pipe should go inside, inside here. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. And because this pipe is uh, bigger in diameter, this is, what is this? Two and a half, no, this is two and a quarter, or two and a half. This is uh, two, three eighths, two and a quarter. And this one is two. Okay. But yeah, we're not using this one anymore. Here you can see the stock, the 2.5, and this is the, the what we just had on, the STI, 07 STI. So just, you know, the piping is a little bit bigger. All right, so we're pretty much done. Well, we gotta look at it's gonna clean it up, clean up the welds. We're gonna give it a paint, high temperature, spray paint, slow down the rusting enemy the mechanic's main enemy. We actually had to uh, put it back on the car. We did put the axle back on the car as well. We also did something we're gonna do to this piece too, and that is take a large file, this guy here, and make sure this, no, not this area, the other flange. Oh, we, we, got, we got a, like that one. Uh... Yeah, do it like, basically, file it this way make sure this is flat so there won't be any leaks when the gasket goes on not too bad so yeah so we put it back on the car tech welded it in four spots took it off again finished the welding here now we're gonna wait for it to cool down a bit paint it and put it back on at least five and a half horses right there but I do have a few stickers you know, one sticker is one thing, but two? Oh man! So it's smoking! Rev it up a bit! Not as loud as you thought, huh? You gotta cut it out. I did say cut out the, the silencer, the middle part, but no, nah, no, nah, we'll be fine. This guy on YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Oh, well. we, need, we need some noise. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna get a little louder as, as there is load on, it, on the engine as you drive. Uh, yeah. Another day. Slowly. Okay. That's no. it? No, I mean, is it touching? Keep going. Okay, good. Up. Uh, a little bit more. Go a little bit more. Okay, you're good, you're good. Up. Hold on, we might, we might have to repeat this from this side. Say what? Now, slowly. Hold on, hold on, slowly. Okay. Keep going. Okay, okay, good, 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 that's it. Done. Yep. Boys, we got a problem. We have that whiny noise from the transmission. Uh, remember we were testing it last episode and it seems like it's just at the end of the transmission 
which tells me that it's this bearing, where is it, this bearing right here, this one, or this one, could also be this one. So you got three bearings. Here you got some adjusting washers, like number 27, and no, that's a clip, 37 is a clip, snap ring, that's an oil seal here, that's another adjusting washer, and this is the rear differential. And the noise was coming right from here, right where the drive shift comes in. So we gotta take this out, we're only gonna take this piece out, all of this should come out, and we're gonna inspect all the bearings and the differential, if it's actually serviceable. We're not sure. So that's what Lucas is working on right now. And this here is what came out. Oil. It's quite a bit. That is a lot. This could be from the bearing. Bearing. And or diff. But before all that, we're gonna fix the remote. So on the remote, the unlock button doesn't work. And the alarm goes off if when I open up, open it up with the key and try to start it. You can still start it. You just gotta turn the key, ignition off and on three times. It will start on the third time. But what I've noticed is this little guy came off. So I don't I don't have such a small soldering iron to started this so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use super glue put a little drop on the bottom there on the base glue this on and put it back together got a situation so I had this oil sit in the oil pan for about a couple hours and well it's not good these are metal shavings this guy here is uh, quite a bit of bigger chunks here and there yeah that's bad news no, he's such a person. so to get that the uh, Transmit, well, not the transmission, but the rear diff out. You gotta start with the exhaust, then the drive shaft. Get Lucas underneath the car. Yeah, get Lucas underneath. Get a Lucas to go underneath the car. Be careful when you're buying a Subaru. They're uh, basically, if it's not an Outback, then chances are that somebody was beating the crap out of it. Yeah, That's what they're made for. Outback. Huh? Even an Outback. Yeah, even even out. I mean, we uh, years ago we both had. Lucas had an O2 legacy wagon. Oh, something, yeah, O2 or 3. I had a 98 legacy wagon. Uh, both, both in manuals. And uh, we, I mean, we were racing uh, each other on highway ramps and you know stuff like that. Uh, winter time, especially. But then, if you were to sell that car, nobody would have guessed that you've been, you know, did all kinds of crazy things in those kind of cars. So yeah, I mean, you know, people get surprised, you know, or people say, you know, Subarus are shit and whatever. Well, you know, if you beat on any car, then obviously it's gonna break. I don't think that's factory. All right, let me show you guys what's going on. So we basically took the very rear part of the transmission off. You gotta take the shifter off. There are these two pins kind of within with inside each other, gotta knock out, and then this is the differential, and this is circlip, something a C clip, something circlip or C clip, sir. Okay. I think that's what they call. So it. that's broken. 
more pieces of it around there. So we got all the pieces through the train. Maybe. Well, we should, we should open it. The transmission? Yeah. Or should I go and bring the other one? Yeah, we do have an extra transmission. We <laughs> so we don't, somehow we don't we don't know we don't know the condition of that one either. Yeah. So I mean this you know if if that diff inside and the transmission is good it still needs cleaning. I mean you don't want this inside your transmission. I'm sure we can get the uh, clip. But why do it break like that? They they tend to break like that. Okay. I heard it's from beating. From what? From beating on the car. Okay, so yeah, so don't beat on your cars, guys. Just stop it already. And this is the other part of the transmission. Look what's going on over here. Holy shit. Oh man, look at this, this teeth. Look oh, this wow. Teeth. Okay, so this is, look, this is, are you seeing this? This is chipped off. This is ready to get. Oh, here, there I you go. I don't think it will last the autocross. Check this out. Wow. Hold on, let me take a picture of that. This is something else. I mean... Oh, this is rough. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there is a piece of that here. How's the bearing? Oh, yeah, the Hold bearing. On. Was it the one which was coming? I don't know. Sounded like, like this, this one. one. Like this or one. yeah, one of, one of these. I mean, not right now, we can't really tell. We can only look uh, by marks on the race, maybe if it's been heated up or not. So, well, this is smooth, but uh, I can tell there are lines on it, but it's not too bad. The race is not too bad, but there are sha there are shavings. There's metal in there too in this oil Man, passage. Look, this 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 comes from here. One, two. Well, yeah, but there's look how many. Uh, yeah. There is more. There's probably shifting, something else. It was shifting good. Something else is broken in here. This one. And somehow Man, made. Man, it is all this rear housing. What the? Stuff. Were they launching the car? Or what the hell? I mean, some of it is from the clip, but these bigger chunks, these are gears. And there is more than just, it's not just these two, is what I'm saying. This one is mostly intact. One chip here. Two here on this one. Can you guys see this? Yeah, you can. Big chunk missing here. Yeah, that's a problem. So we gotta... You gotta dig it more. We're probably gonna take the transmission off. And just put a different one in. Alright, this is the center diff. That clip. That's go that goes there. That's in pieces. I'm gonna try to open this non-serviceable diff up. Didn't you say it's not non-serviceable? Yeah, that's why it's thanking me so well. Mm, oh, God. oh. Ooh. No. Mm -hmm. Smells bad, huh? Smells like poop. No. Oh. Ah. Oh. It smells like food, like mouse poop or cat piss or some. Oh, non-serviceable, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, man. What is this? <laughs> There's no damage to the teeth. Still need to. No, you won't be able to turn this. We can turn this. And then that one. 
Well, it's it's sideways. That's why it's stuck. So you need to. This one doesn't want to turn. This one doesn't want to turn. And this one turns freely. Okay, that's a problem. So it's bent. That's bad. This part is also worn. It's actually sharp, so this one was on this side. This is smooth. I don't know, maybe it got heated up. This is actually sharp too, this part. Sharp edge, right? Sharp edge. This one is not, so there's something wrong with this gear. Something happened to it. Just one side. Yeah, like I said before, this whole transmission is, tr is trash. So we're gonna take it out. You see? Oh no, there's a seal. There's a seal here. See, there's a seal. Okay. Could there be a seal here? So that, what goes on in these non-serviceable center divs is there is this silicon uh, inside the actual diff plates like you know around this here and it's sealed there's this, a rubber seal on this side on on okay. top here and i guess there's got to be another one on the bottom or maybe it's yeah there, seals. Is, there is here there is here okay so now there's another rubber seal yeah there we go should be able to see that. There's another seal right here, right over here. Okay. So this black stuff, that's burnt silicon. That's what that is. So that's diff as shit. All right, let's uh, take more stuff apart and find out that they are garbage. <laughs> 